there's a lot of great teams out there, really. And every team has a lot of flaws, right? No team is absolutely perfect. But some teams are very, very close. So I wanted to take a moment to talk about those five teams that are the most well-rounded teams in the NFL. So uh, when we talk about the most well-rounded teams, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're an honorable mention, and I'm not going to include them on this five-team list because their secondary all season long has given up a lot of plays. Uh, they're kind of weak in, in, in the run game right now with Leonard Fournette out. I know Ronald Jones can step in. He had a great game. Keyshawn Vaughn did as well. But they're kind of hurting a bit, and um, there's just been too many inconsistencies with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So they're an honorable mention. If I had to name six teams that are the most well-rounded, then I would I would definitely put the Bucs in there. But mainly because of their secondary, I I don't know. They've given up a lot of big plays, so I'd have to I had to rule them out uh, for this list. But let me go ahead and talk about the five teams going from number five down to number one. So first, number five on the list of the most well-rounded teams in the NFL, you've got the Buffalo Bills. I know you're probably thinking like, oh, the Bucks beat the Bills. Why are the Bills over the Bucks in this most well-rounded team? Well, here's the thing. Uh, they've been stout in the pass defense. They've been stout in the run game as well. I mean, some games, they'll give up some big plays here and there. Uh, and they've been inconsistent, losing some games when they needed to win those games. But other than that, they have a great passing offense. Their defense is tough. They're sixth in the NFL in total yards, first in the NFL in defensive yards given up. The run game... I mean, Devin Singletary is now coming around. He's starting to get into the rhythm and starting to get into the groove of things. So the run game is kind of lacking. That's why they're at number five only. But I would say that the Bills are, if you're, if you're talking about the most well-rounded teams in the NFL, I would definitely put the Buffalo Bills up there. The next team, most well-rounded in the NFL, number four, the Los Angeles Rams. Listen, they're great everywhere. But their pass defense has given up some big plays. I honestly would have thought that the Rams were legit, without a doubt, Super Bowl contenders after the first one, two, three weeks of the season, right? And then after that, you kind of see them, okay, they're losing some games. Oh, well, they lost to the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals are a tough team. Oh, they lost more and more games that they should have won. They've given up some big plays. This game, Monday night game against the 49ers, they didn't look good, and it's so there is just some inconsistencies with the Rams, and it's mainly because of their defense that has given up some big plays. Also, their offense, I love Matthew Stafford. I love Cooper Cup. But, I mean, at times, they, they've been exposed, right? Uh, but I still put them over the Bills because they have an established run game. Like, Sonia Michelle has been looking great the last two or three weeks. Uh, they're a top-10 offense, but they're a middle-of-the-pack defense, so that's why they're only at number four. Number three, especially recently during this win streak that they've been on, the Kansas City Chiefs, most well-rounded teams. I mean, they started three and five at one point, and now they're looking at being one of the, or maybe it was three and four. Regardless, they're one of the better teams in the AFC. They're actually the top seed in the AFC right now. This offense has turned it around. This defense has turned it around as well, only giving up about, uh, I want to say during this winning streak, maybe around 12 to 13 points a game. Like this defense... If you want to talk about the most well-rounded teams, I would say that they're the reason why I would put them number three on this list. Now, they would be number one if the whole entire season uh, they were played the way that they've been playing as of late. But because of you know the beginning of the, of the season, the first half of the season, they haven't been looking great. That's why I dropped them down to number three. But the Chiefs offense, Chiefs defense, all of it, all areas have been looking great as of late. Team number two, and this might surprise you because you might be thinking to yourself, well, then who's team number one? But the Green Bay Packers, the top seed in the NFC, 12-3 and three right now. Why are they only at number two? Well, let's first talk about the positives, right? The Packers' offense, their pass game with Aaron Rodgers, great. No question about it. Their run game, great. Two great running backs in Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon, awesome. The more, the better. Their defense has been great as well. People don't want to talk about the Packers' defense, but the Packers' defense has kept them alive in many games when the Packers' offense has been kind of stuttering a bit, right? So why are they only at number two and not at number one, being the top seed in the NFC? It's because as of late, you may not have caught it, but as of late, in the last two, three games, their passing defense has kind of struggled a bit. 
And I wanted to factor that in. So the Packers passing defense, because they've been lacking just a bit, still very good, but lacking just a bit, I, I, I got to put them at number two. Got to put them at number two. So that leads us to our number one team. Who's the most well-rounded team in the NFL? Listen, this isn't a fan favorite. It really isn't. But the Dallas Cowboys, I got to give them credit. I really do. You have two great running backs in Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. You have three great wide receivers, CeeDee Lamb, Amari Cooper, and Michael Gallup, a tight end in Dalton Schultz. A defensive line that's led by Demarcus Lawrence and Micah Parsons that can create those turnovers. A secondary that is led by Trayvon Diggs that can get those turnovers and those interceptions. Oh, and by the way, the guy under center, the quarterback, you might have heard of him, but one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. This team is one of the most well-rounded teams in the NFL, Super Bowl contenders without a doubt, and they are almost, almost flawless. I say almost because they've given up some big plays here and there. They've looked like uh, they've struggled a bit, but if you compare the pool between the Dallas Cowboys and the other well-rounded teams in the NFL, I've got to put the Dallas Cowboys up there at top. I really do. Well-rounded almost everywhere. One of the best defenses in the NFL. One of the best offenses in the NFL. So to recap, the five most well-rounded teams. Number five, Buffalo Bills. Number four, Los Angeles Rams. Number three, Kansas City Chiefs. Number two, the Green Bay Packers. And number one, the Dallas Cowboys. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments, leave your opinions down below. Who's the most well-rounded team in the NFL?